For the last three years I've been working on counterfeit drugs in African nations, but one of the problems we hadn't realised was that drugs which are donated, good quality drugs, are being stolen, and that's leading to all sorts of problems. The problems that uh, we see from stolen drugs are obviously, the most obvious one is to the patients, that the, the patients who are supposed to be getting the drugs aren't getting them. So we donate drugs, they're supposed to turn up at clinics, they don't, the people who need them don't get them. So that's the key first big problem with this, so we want to stop it so that the right patients get the right drugs. But the longer term problems are that you encourage a system of illegal distribution. And if we don't pay enough attention to this, you might end up having parallel systems where criminals in charge of uh, drug distribution. And what starts off with trading in um, uh, licit, uh, good quality products can over time translate into counterfeit substandard products. So even though the drugs may be expensive, at the moment they work, those that are being di stolen and diverted. Over time, as we've seen in other markets, uh, the drugs may become actually harmful. It's very difficult to know exactly the right way to handle this. At the moment, my investigation was pretty cursory given how difficult it is to actually sample from uh, developing countries accurately. But from the limited sample we have, this is a significant problem. The first thing that needs to be done is a much more thorough investigation of the problem. And I, that's what I would be calling on the US government, the Inspector General's office, to investigate and demand of other donors that they investigate the problem. There's rhetoric that they, people are looking into this, and I know that the US government has for its own donations, but the largest donor is the Global Fund, which is funded by a wide variety of taxpayers, and uh, it's, it's incumbent on the US government, which is the largest supporter of that, to put pressure on them to investigate this more thoroughly.